Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. Reese Brothers is almost a hundred years old from the time that their grandfather started mules up until today, currently. Uh, they are fourth generation uh, company, family. They work on a we want you satisfied basis. Um, if you buy a mule in, say, Arizona or someplace that they have taken a load of mules, if you buy a mule here, uh, they will tell you from the get-go if that mule has an issue. They will tell you if this mule has been in a situation that may cause an issue later on. And if you are not satisfied with the animal that you buy from Reese Mules, they will make it right. They will bring you to the farm, let you pick out something else, uh, transport it to you. They work very closely with each mule they sell just to keep their reputation on the narrow. That it's just, it, it has to be the stay in time. I'm the riding mule sale. People are signing in their mules, they're consigning them. Uh, there'll be two groups. There'll be a group for the early competition, which we'll see later on today. And then there will be meals that she's coming in for the sale. We're expecting anywhere from two to 250 of them. As they come in the back door, uh, Vivian Reese and our vet will check them in, uh, make sure that all of our paperwork is good. She's sort of the mule police back there. They can't get into any gate until that they go through that chute and everything is on the top side. Uh, once they're assigned a number, they'll get them a pen, and then in today's show and sale, they will be getting these mules out and saddling them and riding them, and there's a big exhibition area out back. Then about one o'clock, they'll have their competition, and after that's over, they're going to post the results so that everybody has a chance to look and see how their mule did, and, and it's really not a competition to get the blue ribbon. It's a and way to let the buyers know this is what your mule can do. Well, it's been since back in the eight, about 1980, I guess. So uh, you've seen some changes then? Oh yes, I've seen. In the, we used to haul a load of mules, a roof load, <coughs> load of mules to Roofsy sale, ever sale, and a load out. And now that kind of trading is over. You got to have a good broken mule. And those would have been more the Belgian draft mules then back no, then. No, you had saddle mules. Uh, mostly riding mules and a few draft mules. Okay. But the riding mule thing is really Rufus has done a good job with this sale, and he gets the best riding mules in the country here. And it's just a remarkable sale. It's um, an amazing bunch of mules that are here, aren't they? Oh, the best in the country. It makes you wonder how you gather that many up for this sale. Yeah, it's really an amazing concentration. If this is all that you ever saw, you would think that mules are just amazing everywhere. Well, but yeah, not like that. That's not true. I mean, it makes you wonder how they gather up. Of course, these mules have come from all over the country here, and uh, he just has a real good sale and. It's, he, they've done a remarkable job of advertising it and getting the people out, and it's great. I've known Rufus for that many years, and uh, he, he'll back up what I say, and I'll back up what he says. Yeah, yeah. We're just friends. Yeah. I'm going to say three-fourths of the mules we buy come through auctions, and then they've been in business so long, if anybody wants to sell something, they actually call us and come to the house. Guys, we designed this course because the purpose of it is not a quarter horse AQHA show in here today. Um, this course is designed so that your sale mules will look good to the buyers that are here and to help the buyers 
look at your mules and decide what's good for them. And hopefully tomorrow everybody's happy. So uh, um, that's truly our intent. So it doesn't matter about fanciness and all the, the horse show stuff doesn't exist here today. This is a real mule trail class and all we ride is mules. So, so that's the way we're going to judge it. There's 10 obstacles and they're scored one through 10. So a perfect score is 100. Um, and we'll go over each obstacle a little bit. Um, so with Caroline, you come up to her, lead your mule with a halter on and your bridle on the saddle horn. And you're gonna lead your mule up. She's gonna write your mule's number. And then you need to go load in that trailer, tie your mule. She's gonna time you 30 seconds. And then you're gonna go back in, take your mule out. And then you're gonna bridle the mule in front of her. That's one obstacle, it's a 10 point score. So bridling and, and trailering is a five point a piece score. And then when you're done, I'll wave you on and you'll come up to me and then you're going to mount. And then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get on and then you're gonna come to this yellow slicker and put it on. And then the stumps, there's three stumps. I want you to jog or trot, whatever you, your mule will do and serpentine it down and serpentine it back and return the slicker. Then you're gonna ride between the bear hide. And the, the bear hide's on the left with the St. Patrick's Day hat. Very, but if you choose, if you go between the log and the stump and the bear hide, that's 10 points. If you choose to go between the rail outside, it's five points. If you go between the bear and the log and you blow sideways, you gambler's choice a little bit and you might get three. So that's your choice on how to ride by the bear hide. Then you're gonna just keep going between the two tires and across the blue tarp, go around the, the gray tall stump and you're gonna go to the waiting box with the four flowers. In the waiting box, I want you to ride in stop and you're going to stand patiently for 30 seconds we hope okay we're looking for patience and for an animal just to stand and wait so you just want to stay calm stay quiet let them stand hopefully then they don't fidget fuss or move and that's what you're being judged on is how they stand and, and are just quiet once you're done with the waiting box and i'll wave you on after 30 seconds go around the next of uh, gray obstacle <laughs> and then across the bridge and then you're going to come up to uh, the mustache guy here you're going to dismount and pick all four feet up and then from there you can leave or you can do your freestyle one minute when you come up to me if you do have any specific questions you're welcome to ask at the end of the course if you like, it's your choice, you get one minute freestyle. And what that is, is you are allowed to do anything you would like in this arena. So if your mule lays down, you can ride it backwards, or if you want to lope it, whatever you might want to show that this course didn't bring out of your mule today, you have one minute to do that. We're going to make comments, and that's probably what's going to make our top cut. So if we have 10 mules that made this perthly 100, 100 point score, your freestyle is what's going to set the cut one, two, three, four, five in our placings. Does everybody understand that? You do not have to do a freestyle. You do not. If you finish the course and you want out of here, go ahead and wave us on. But you get one minute to do whatever you'd like to do. If you like and you don't want to do anything of your own, and you want to rewrite an obstacle, go ahead and rewrite it. If the bear hide was a good obstacle for you and you think your mule can go put his nose on the bear hide and you want to show off there, take your one minute, go rewrite an obstacle. So you can do either, whatever you prefer.
Well done. Thirty-one. 
Third down, they only have to give it in, don't get that, they're going to 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 get For almost 40 years, Rural Heritage Magazine has helped readers borrow from yesterday to do the work of today. The magazine is packed with stories and information about farming and logging with draft animal power, as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. If you or someone you know wants to run a self-sufficient, diversified family farm, or just learn how to make a weekend hobby farm more productive, Rural Heritage Magazine is a smart choice. Articles cover a wide range of interesting and useful topics and are written by people living on the land doing the work they write about. A one-year subscription is $34.95 for six issues, 24% off the newsstand price. Sign up for two years and save even more. Order online at www.ruralheritage.com or by calling 319-362-3027. That's www.ruralheritage.com or 319-362-3027. I've been been going to their sales for 40 years, and I've been setting up tack in them for over 20. Well, they've had to be pretty good to be around long as they have. Their granddaddy started it. Dickie and Rufy's granddaddy started the sales several years ago. And uh, I used to go to Dickie and Rufy's daddy and uncle sale, which was Dick Reese and Mr. Hub Reese. There's these boys' daddies, and they they had, I went to their sales over 35 years ago. And back then it was more draft mules than saddle mules. 99% right? was all draft. Yeah. What do you suppose made it change over? Mule is more sure-footed than a horse. And that's why a lot of the trail riding people went to, to mules instead of horses. Number 11 will be uh, Marley May. She'll be a seven-year-old mare, Canadian mare mule. Seven-year-old lot number 11. Hey, what are we going here? What are we going to do? 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 What are we going
This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information, or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.